question 3.38 here. It says apply mesh analysis to the circuit and figure and obtain I0. Okay, so I0 is over here, uh, as emphasized, and uh, Chris, uh, the mesh analysis when there's a circuit, uh, when there, there's a circuit, and it has like a, a current source within it, then we uh, count as the the mesh of the the meshes that shares that same uh, current source as a super mesh. Uh, so count as one mesh system, right? So f these uh, so current so mesh one and mesh two shares this 10 uh, ampere current source and then we count this as a super mesh by itself right also because a um a, a, a voltmeter has infinite amount of volts uh, infinite amount of resistance and a uh, circuit source has like none right so we don't really count this this there's no really there's no really like volts here uh, sorry, it has infinite amount of uh, zero resistance, right? Zero resistance, so like doesn't have any volts here. So we can't, and when we do mesh analysis, we're using the Kostroff voltage law. So that's why we don't apply it over here, right? Okay, so now we can just start. Um, let's see. So we start with I mesh three, right? This one over here has, has a current three. Okay, so we start with that one. And we say we start over here. Oh, and it's important to know that since I3 is going to this direction, it's clockwise, and there's a current source over here. So it's going to the negative direction. So we can just say I3 equals negative 5A, right? We can just draw that conclusion right there because this we assumed this is going clockwise and it's going against the direction of 5A, okay? But nonetheless, we can say I3 um, is what? No, actually, why don't we just, uh, we can just use the, do these, the super mesh one, right? So I use IS as super. Okay, so uh, let's get started. So it's negative 6V, right? It's going to this. So it's going this direction. It's entering the negative and when you enter the a negative terminal, that's negative 60 V, that's just how I've been taught. Um, plus four ohms times I1, right? So because we use I1 because it's still in, in this area, th this resistor is affected by the I1 current, right? And uh, plus uh, three ohms uh, times I2, right? Uh, plus one ohm. Uh, one ohm times uh, current I2 plus two ohms times uh, current I2 minus I4 uh, plus two ohms pl times current I1 minus I3. Okay. All right. Fantastic. This gives us a zero. All right. And... Uh, we can simplify, so there's like, so how many I1s, are there? so we know that 60 moves to the other side, so there are uh, four, uh, two, so there's six I1s, six, six I1s, I2s, there are uh, three, one, four, so six, so eight, right, so plus, um, oh, sorry, is there any minus ones? I2s. How many I2s are here? There's two uh, two of them, one, so, okay, six, plus six I2s, and then I3s. How many I3s are there? Uh, negative two I3s, right? And then there's negative two I, uh, negative two I4 as well. All of this equals 60. Okay, great. So there's one equation, and then we can just, uh, I don't know. Do I4, okay? Because I3, we sort of already draw, uh, draw a conclusion from there, which is I3 equals negative 5A. So that's like a main important thing that we got from there. So that's why I just skipped it, I3, and go to uh, I4, okay?
Okay, hopefully we can draw an equation from there as well. Because that is an equation, and one equation, one I know, it's, it's important. All right, so it served its purpose, I3. So now we'll figure out I4. I4, okay, so we start. Uh, so 4 ohms times I4, right? Plus uh, 1 ohm times I4 minus I3. And uh, we remember it would just this you can plug in here uh, we're gonna do a lot of substitutions later so don't worry plus uh, 2 ohms times I4 minus I2 here right and uh, plus 22.5 volts All right 22 plus 5 volts okay and uh, that's it equals 0 okay so now uh, we can figure everything out so negative 22.5 V, uh, so I1s, how many I1s are here? No, I2s, yes, there are I2s, which is two I2s. Uh, two ohm I2s, uh, let's just get rid of the ohms, right, for simplifications. I3s, there are one I3s minus uh, one I3, and then I4s, so there's four, one, two, so that is seven plus seven I4s. Right, and then so here negative five. Uh, we can use the simplifications here. I three is negative five a, so negative negative five. So that's five, and then minus five both sides, so it's negative twenty seven point five volts. I two plus seven I four. Right. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, fantastic. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is. I2 is negative, right? I2 is negative, so my bad. Thank you, I2 is negative over here. Okay, so now we can figure it out what I4 equals, just a rep in representation of volts and I2. So it's uh, I2 goes on this side, so it's 2 over 7, I2 minus 72.5 over uh, 7 volts, okay? All right, so there's another equation of this, and then this is the simplifications of this, and then um, what can we do? So we can say, oh, and from this equation over here, this super mesh, we know that I2, um, I, I1 plus 10 ohms equals I2. Right, this one over here, uh, this this one over here. How do we know this? Is we apply a uh, Kristoff uh, uh, current law? Oh no, just nods. Yeah, Kristoff current law. Uh, within a knot, the current coming in and exiting should be the same. So I one is clockwise, so it's going in, right? I two is clockwise, but it's it's you know it's this way, so it's going out, and ten is going in. So I one plus ten equals I2, right? The two going in equals the one going out. And then now we can just like mm, simplify this, right? So we can write this as I1 equals I2 um, minus 10, oh, uh, 10 ampere, okay? Uh, equals 10 ampere, okay? And then now we can add everything into this, right? This equation over here that we have uh, equals 60. So, um, oh, this you can further simplify apparently. Uh, so you divided by two. Just I just realized this. Just you know, if we use calculation over here, it would be a lot easier. So it's, it would be three i one divided by two by both sides, right? Plus three uh, i two minus I3 minus I4 gives you 30, okay? Gives you 30, okay. So now we plug everything in. So what do we know I1? Okay, I1 is here. So three times I1, so three I2 minus 30A, right? And this we plug in to IA, right? Okay, and three times this, uh, three times this gives you this plus 3i2, perfect, and minus i3. What is i3? Negative 5. So minus i3, so plus 5a, and then 
negative 4, t negative 4i, so which is this, which is negative 2, 7i2 plus 70 to 27.5 over 7 volts, this whole thing gives you 30 volts, okay? And you do some substitutions and then simplifications, simplifications, I2 should give you 8.9375 ampere, excuse me, and then you can plug in I2, uh, this one, into here, and you will find I4, and I4 should give you 1.375 a ampere. Just plug this into your calculator, right? It should be. It would be a lot easier. And then, um, what is I? We're trying to find what I naught, right? So what is I naught? I naught is what? And as I three minus I four, right? Because I three, uh, remember, is the Kirchhoff current law again. It's going in and it's exiting. So. So what I naught is, well, initially it, you would have write it as going in equals going out. So going in is I3. Going out equals I naught plus I4. All right. Or you can say I3, I naught, uh, I naught equals uh, I3 minus I4. Okay. You move this to this side. Okay, fantastic. So I3 we already know is negative 5a, right? And then I4 we know from here, which is minus negative 1.375a, okay? And this should give you negative 3.625 ampere, I not. And that is the answer for this question. Okay, this is a pretty l relatively long. And, and I decided to use the Gauss eliminations and the substitution in this one uh, instead of using matrices just to show you guys uh, how it's done using a different method. Uh, some of the other problems I just used the matrices and put into a calculator. Um, obviously, as you can tell, uh, if you watch some of the others that I've used matrices, uh, comparing two methods, you know, calculator using matrix is a lot easier. It saves you a lot of time. And you can make so many. Uh, arithmetic mistakes while you're doing this, you know, you can totally mess up a sign and boom, the whole thing is wrong, right? So um, that's that. And also is important uh, what you should take from this is that, okay, so if we, sh if, if we, sh uh, two mesh shares one current source, then that two mesh will, will combine into a super mesh. And second of all is that try to draw conclusions of, of like I3 equals negative 5A, like just you should be able to like find, look for those things, right? I3 is going this, okay. It's going against a 5a, which is already given us. Okay, so I3 equals negative 5a, right? And then like apply Kirchhoff current law as well as Kirchhoff, uh, cur I mean, voltage law for mesh system as well as Kirchhoff current law for nodes analysis, right? So over here, you know, you should be able to draw these conclusions, right? this conclusion and and this one over here right these are very important if you are unable to see this then you're stuck right you don't have enough equations to solve what you're trying to solve so yeah this is important anyway uh so yeah hopefully this video was helpful good luck on your studies and i'll see you in the future bye